Okay, everybody, welcome to the second post-match press conference with the Welsh team, uh, coach uh, Warren Gatland and captain Dewey Lake. Uh, let's get straight into questions, please. First question. Over here, please. Warren, in, in some respects, it's a, it's a job done, but there's a lot to pick out of that performance. Yeah, no, happy, we're happy with the bonus point. If, if someone said you'd had uh, 10 points from the first two games, uh, we've been pretty happy with that. Look, there wasn't, there were aspects of today we've probably uh, have gone on there and probably tried to play a little bit too much rugby early on and didn't need, didn't play a bit more territory or be a bit more direct, but, you know, there's some of those players haven't had a, a lot of rugby and making that many changes with a short turnaround. So you know, I just spoke to him in the change rooms and said, look, job done. We've got the um, five points, so we can be happy with that. And just, you know, for, for some players to be honest about their own performance and where they can improve as well. And 13 changes. Did any of the players out there stake a claim in your eyes for, for a spot in the team to face yeah. Australia? Yeah, it's a little bit early to... to uh, be making decisions on that in terms of, uh, um, you know, when we get, when we go with the review, um, you know, we'll look at that. I mean, I was, I thought Rio Dyer was was good in the air. I thought he worked really hard. Um, probably a couple of times when he's tried to force a pass and maybe should have held on to it. But you know, he he gives you a hundred percent, and he's definitely um, improved, improved in certain areas of his game. And I just thought his aerial stuff was excellent today. Gareth? Uh, Warren, how is Tommy Raffle and how impressive was it with Jack Morgan to step in like that and play like that? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a decision we only made just before kickoff. off really. Uh, Tommy said his calf was a bit tight. I think he was still quite keen to take the field, but if he had uh, pulled that calf, then that would have been his World Cup over. So, um, And... Yeah, so to put to put Jack in as a straight replacement uh, with uh, very limited preparation from this week, I thought he was good. Yeah. Over here. Hi, Warren. Um, where does that rank in terms of some of the you know birthday presents that you've had ahead of tomorrow? <laughs> um, yeah, it's not uh, it's not easy at the moment sitting in the box. You know, it's a, bit, a little bit stressful, but um, you know the, the message at half time was that uh, you know it was 21 minutes ball and play time at half time. So we've kind of done that that job uh, in terms of trying to take their feet away from them. In terms of uh, they'd thrown everything at us in that first half, that first sort of 20 minutes, and and probably they didn't have the same sort of opportunities in the second half in terms of putting us under that sort of pressure but we probably didn't help ourselves as well in, in terms of managing that so um, like we sit there we were just conscious of how important for it, for us to get that bonus point at the end and um, you know the the one that was ruled as a, a non-try with Tom Francis I'm looking at that and going like, you know he just stopped and stood still so I don't know where he's supposed to go in that situation when he's actually in front of the ball, so that was, that was, that was a little bit frustrating, but, you know, we, we've regrouped and, um, you know, when we've run hard and, and, and won those collisions, that's when we, we looked uh, dangerous and then probably at times we were a little bit lateral, but, um, like I said, it's, it's good that we've given you know, everyone in the squad a, an opportunity and, and some rugby, and so we can... Got a little bit more time in terms of preparation before Australia, and then we can start sort of focusing and looking forward to that. And just quickly on that game, do you expect Henry Thomas to be in contention for that, as things stand? Well, um, you know, he didn't take part in the warm-up today, so uh, probably the next 24, 48 hours, we'll just see what um, how that hamstring is with him, and um, you know whether he's he's in contention. Dewey, uh, there was quite a bit of talk about how many sevens players that Portugal had and how they liked to move the ball wide uh, at every opportunity. Were you surprised at how physical they were and how many mistakes they forced as well? Um, no, I don't think you know we were very surprised because we've done our homework on the team that we're facing. Um, we understood you know what they were going to bring to the table from a 
from a physicality standpoint and, you know, in terms of, I think, Gat spoke in the week about them being a mini Fiji in terms of offload game and, you know, they've got players who, who want to snipe, who want to run, um, you know, their they scrum half and, and 15 are dangerous in, in open play. So I think, you know, we understood the task that was ahead of us and, and what Portugal would bring. Um, you know, in, in terms of the physicality, I think we won that battle, um, you know, over 80 minutes. Uh, and, you know, I think they spoke about our physicality in the week and I think we proved um, tonight that we are a physical team and I think we've shown it over two games now and, you know, it's what's expected of us now. Uh, hi, Warren. Obviously, after the Fiji win, you'd spoken a lot about that sort of last 13 minutes. What was your take on sort of how the last 13, 10, 15 minutes went, went today? Yeah, I, look, I, I, there's a couple of line-outs we lost, but I thought we controlled that. Um, and the game was some some scrums, and uh, uh, we were conscious that you know there was chance opportunities that potentially we could have gone for the post and taken threes, but we didn't do that. We kept, we kept Portugal down their end and, and squeezed them. Uh, we had a couple of calls that went against us uh, in terms of um, a, a couple of knock-ons, which didn't help sort of that momentum and things. But um, no, it was, it was much better control towards the end of that game. And Derry, congratulations, winners, captain. Obviously, you're the, the man in charge today, but at short notice, you had your, your squad co-captain on the field with you. I'm just wondering how that relationship went today, having both of you on the field. Yeah, it's, it's always great to be, you know, with Jack and, and have him on the field. Obviously, gutted for Tommy having to, to pull out in the warm-up. It's, it's never how you want, um, you know, anyone to be removed from a game, I guess, and, and Jack having to step in. Uh, but like like I said, I think he, he was great stepping in today on short notice, and you know it's always great taking the field with him and and having him to to talk to around things as well. Chris, Warren, uh, try saving tackle from Talupi and a 83rd minute try. Can you just talk about his growing influence now? He's getting back to the Talupi we know. Um, yeah, I think it was you know, it was tough on him. We we know that. He's he's not a, a player that you know. Say probably the best example is someone like a Richie McCall could be up for six months and then step straight into at the top level of international rugby. And um, with uh, Tolupe, the the more game time he has and a string of a uh, run of games, he gets better. And that's why after last week, even with a short turnaround, we wanted to give him some some more rugby. And I thought uh, you know he did some some really good things today. And I think. Um, you know he'll continue to get better with uh, with more rugby fitness. He's he's worked hard, um, but the unfortunate thing was that um, with that that hard work he had done, then he had a calf injury, and that didn't sort of uh, it set him back a little bit. So um, you know he made some some good decisions in terms of that tackle, and obviously scoring that try at the end of the game, uh, hit and spin, and you know, probably not many people would have been able to score that from that situation. Hi Warren, maybe not for your nerves, but how good has it been for rugby as a whole, do you think, to see teams like Portugal playing well? We saw Uruguay go very well against France in the night. Yeah, I, I thought Uruguay were, were outstanding. It was great and it's, it's brilliant for the game. You know, it's probably, uh, you know, we've seen a couple of blowouts, but, um, you know, we've seen, um, you know, I think it's fantastic with, with uh, Portugal sort of, um, I thought they played well tonight and, and um, showed a lot of enterprise and then uh, you could argue that Uruguay were pretty unlucky in a, in a few situations as well. So you know, we were aware of that and, you know, maybe it's... I think it's important that we continue, from a rugby perspective, you know, continue to help develop these Tier 2 nations and, and maybe, you know, there might be a situation where, you know, we're able to increase the number of uh, teams in the World Cup to, say, 24, and then I think that would continue to help grow the game, and, and um, you know, that, that, that's an important aspect, because you don't want the top-tier nations dominating World Cups. You want you want upsets, and uh, as long as I'm not a part of it, so... <laughs> um, and I think it's, it's a real positive, um, you know, going forward and to see teams competing and, 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 and pushing other teams close. Okay, one here, at the front. 
This will be the last question in English, and I will take one Welsh question at the end for Dewey. Okay. Uh, Warren, will you be watching Fiji in Australia on your birthday? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, it was a bit of a birthday present. Uh, uh, it came early, <laughs> yeah. Okay, apologies to the interpretation service. We are going to take a question in Welsh. Dewi, we just go bully or on BBC Cymru. Um, Beth oedd y teimladau wedi'r gem, a pamor... Uh, beth oedd o'r thrau, pam gethwch chi fe'n anodd chi'n credu am uh, brydiau yn ystod y gêm yna heddi? Yn gan da, mes, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, of course, mor, ni, ni'n am o bodol bod nhw'n tîm sydd yn eisiau chwarae rygbi, maen nhw'n eisiau dadlwytho'r pêl, maen nhw'n dda gyda pêl yn dwylo. Um, mor, mae ddim yn rhywbeth fod oedd yn sioc i ni. Um, ond yn credu beth oedd sioc i ni o sut gymaint roedd nhw eisiau chwarae gyda'r pêl. Um, dyma ond roedd, roedd y bôl pêl ddim, ddim allan o'r cae. Dyma ond bôl yn play time ryw 21 munud yn y a, hanner cyntaf. Um, ond y peth, peth bwysig ga i ni oedd, oedd gael y point bonus um, a dyma ond gweld y game mas um, a ni wedi wneud hynna heno, ond um, wrth gwrs mae, mae llawer o, o pethau gweithio arno. Ok, thanks everybody.